Where did you learn to fight like that? Where? On the road? As a pilgrim? I had no other choice. On the road? <laughs> Don't you wonder sometimes? What they gave us to make us like this. Stronger? Rather... in the head. But yeah. Up and stronger. Maybe I'll figure that out when I find Mia. What's next? Well, you heard it yourself. Ro might know where you can access that damn database. Here, take these orders to him. Just don't lose him, or Jack will gut me. What about you? I'll join you. But first, I have to see Frank. You saw him. He's barely holding it together. Okay. Good. Start with Culvert Island. The PK have an outpost there. Hey, Luan. You should know that in Old Villador, I, I came into conflict with Ader. I blew up the Peacekeeper's windmill, and we really don't like each other. <laughs> Are you afraid they'll figure out what you've done? Didn't you hear what Jack was saying? Take it easy. Nobody has contact with Old Villador here. And even if there was someone, by that time, <laughs> we'll have already found what we're looking for. And stay on the radio all the time. Sure thing, partner. Having the power back on will change the tide of the war. I hear the PK engineers are working on alarm. Matt will not forgive the renegade for that. Lieutenant Rowe, I have orders from the commander. I ain't Rowe. He went off with a squad to New Dawn Park. I'm Lieutenant Grady. Great. Guess I gotta keep going. What are you talking about? Show me those orders, son. I was supposed to give them directly to Roe. And I'm Roe when Roe's not here. It's called chain of command. Give him. What the hell? Did the commander say why we're being pulled back to center? He didn't seem too eager to explain anything to me. I'm just the messenger. Okay, boys, time to pack it in. Command's ordered us to withdraw. It's back to base for us. We're doing what? We're leaving this outpost? Don't question me. You can't hide behind Meyer's skirt out here. You're... you're abandoning us? What do we do? We'll be defenseless. Go arm the survivors. Then we roll. If I were you, I'd give them plenty of weapons. The Renegade sent a whole detachment to the Fisheye. Any other bright ideas, civilian? And just a question. Where can I find Roe? New Dawn Park, like I said. I'm not sure if they made it yet. You take these to him and tell him I'm on it. Better you than me, buddy. Roe's gonna blow his top when he reads these. And I'm here to save lives, not lose mine. Yeah, thanks for the tip. Assholes. We won't stand a chance. I'm really sorry, civilian, but we have orders. You can't leave us. If the renegades come, we'll be dead within a day. Easy. Luan, I'm going to New Dawn Park. Apparently, Roe went there. I still don't understand why the renegades attacked the fisheye. They've got their camps, but... Butcher hasn't attacked the fisheye since... Never. Even he respected the Night Runner, so... No f***ing yeah. clue what's going on in his head. The Butcher. Tell me more about him. The Colonel. He's the leader of the Renegades. He gave the order to douse the city in chemicals. That's when my parents died. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm not. Saw my dad once in my whole life. And if Mom was good at anything, it was drinking. She abandoned me. That's how you ended up in Walter's program? More or less. And your parents? Remember them? No. I just remember the hospital. Pain. And the fire. Right before they split me and Mia up. Is that why you're looking for her? She's the only family you got left? Let's focus on the job, okay? Okay, tough guy. Last one there's a rotten egg. Smirk right on this. 
I'm looking for Lieutenant Rowe. You seen him? Who are you? Why do you want to know? I have orders from Major Matt. Lieutenant Grady said he was here. It'll be okay. Where's your squad and commander? We were making camp when renegades attacked us. Rowe and the others, they got a few. Then they went after the ones that tried to run. What about you? Couldn't keep up. I lost contact with them. Then another group attacked me. What are they doing here? The renegades weren't attacking our positions in the center. Oh, f Hey! Still some rats here! Be careful. Hide. Go to hell. Sure. Already leaving. <laughs> Aren't we, gentlemen? Let's get him! <laughs> <laughs> safe now. You can come out. So, um, where's Ro? <sighs> Camp was supposed to be up there on the hotel roof, by the junction with Newell's Drive. There's a winch in the back of the building. You can take that up. If they haven't been able to come back yet, that's where you'll find them. Thanks. If you can make it back to base on your own, go there. And don't let yourself get chased into a box again. Luan, I've located Roe, a hotel by the New Alls Drive and Varian intersection. Congrats. One big thing before the meeting with Roe. He's got a hair trigger temper. Yeah, Grady already warned me. As long as he has info on the GRE database, he can be as pissy as he wants. Brave man. We'll talk after you meet him. See you there. Not yet, but I ran across some renegades. Shit. Hang on. I'm on my way. 
Those renegades' asses. They're taking care of. Check the status of the squad downstairs. Yes, sir, Lieutenant Sir. Are the renegades outside? They won't bother you. You took them out? Who are you? Aiden. I got orders from Jack Matt. Well, fuck me. Let's look at what Santa Zelza brought us. Withdrawal? Now? This some kind of f***ing joke. Know how many men I lost to secure this miserable plot of land? Look, I don't, Lieutenant, but I have Five. other... Five of our very best. Bartez killed more virals than an entire unit. Sierra and Little Ron, they've been fighting at my side since before the fall. They gave their lives for that scrap of the city, and now what? I'm supposed to pull back? Listen, I'm just a messenger. Just calm down and talk. Oh, you don't think I'm calm, huh? I'm a fucking oasis of Zen. Nirvana walking. Bartez's husband. How's he gonna keep calm, huh? When I leave her body on this godforsaken turf. Sierra and Brasco's mom? She's not gonna be calm to learn her boys died here in vain. What should I tell him? All this for nothing just cause Matt signed a piece of paper and sent it to me? We do the real work out here and it's nothing to Matt to take it all away with a smear of ink. Fucking total I'm looking for access to the GRE database. I hear you know where I can do that. Yeah, I do. But why the f*** would I tell you under the circumstances? I got important, if idiotic, business to attend to. Get out of my sight. Okay, gentlemen. Gather the dog tags of the fallen. It sucks. But an order's an order. Ro, wait. The one. You come to piss me off, too? You know me, Ro. Aiden and me both are looking for that GRE database, and you're gonna tell us. You wanna drag this out? 
or take care of it here and now. Why are you after the database? I've heard it was stored on servers in the Observatory Command Center. But that building was destroyed in the chemical attacks years ago. The bombings came one after the other, like we were the f Viet Cong. Nothing was left. Understand? Nada. If you want, check for yourselves. Gentlemen, we're going. What's next? Next? <laughs> Didn't you hear? That database sounds long gone. So much for discovering the mystery of our childhood. I'll go back to looking for the shits on my hit list, and you? You can enjoy life in the center. I'm going to the observatory. Then you're going alone. So, we're splitting up? All good things must come to an end. The butcher and the pricks from my list? They'll find this out soon enough. I'm going back to looking for them. You shouldn't stay here either. Aiden? I'm sorry you didn't find your sister. Yeah, thanks. You've always got Waltz. He probably knows what happened to her. If I find him, I'll let you know. Good luck, Gajo. Take care, Luan. Goodbye. Jack Ma here. Thanks for your help. It was nothing, sir. I heard the place you're looking for was destroyed. I'm sorry. Thanks. But sorry isn't much consolation. I know, son. But I might be able to help you out. I'll get back to you. Major Matt, Aiden here. Aiden, good to hear you, son. You said maybe you could help me out. I'd like to ask how. Not over the radio. Come to the ship, to the main HQ. I'll be there soon myself. All right.
one, but I don't really like it. Goose. And, uh, Let's see what did they do they yesterday? Halt! Biomarker. Here. Report to Meyer in dispatch. The commander is on his way back from the field. Thanks. You're clear. In a year, you'll be addressing me as Cole. Hey, where's dispatch? There! All right, men. We take care of the UV lamps and head back to base. It should be on point, fast, and easy. Go, go, go! attack two of our camps. We'll do everything we can to arm you. If needed, we'll intervene. If you could intervene, why'd you leave in the first place? This is bull****. Wasn't your father some famous war hero? I bet he's rolling over in his grave. Watch your mouth, civilian. Things are tough all over. You know that. Until today. Looking for things to do? Ah, you. I remember you from the canteen. Yeah, I, I guess. From the fight in the canteen? Uh, maybe. Don't sweat it. You can really hold your own. I respect that. Aiden, right? Commander told me to brief you about faction matters. Missy welcomes you. Where is Matt? In the field. He came across a lead in Old Villador. You gotta wait. See that board? I got plenty that needs doing and not enough men. You wanna pick up some of our slack? We pay well. Medic, hurry! That's Major Matt. Medic, Something's hurry. happened. Make room! Clear the way! He's bleeding out! Oh my Peter's God. in really bad shape. Save him! You Take me. him to the infirmary! Don't Summon the medics! Going. We have to save him. Hang on, Ator. We won't let you go. You hear me? Get moving. Better hope Ator survives. We lost too many people in old Villador. Jack will do all he can to find out who did this. Having the power of a gun will change the tide of the war. I hear the PK engineers are working on alarms and electric traps. Aiden, don't just stand there. Come here. Not the first time we're doing this. <coughs> know what this is? These brass knuckles belonged first to Commander Lucas. Then, they passed on to Ator. What happened in Old Villador? It can't happen again. We have to save the city, Aiden. From the plague, from the butcher and his men, whatever they're planning. Okay. But over the radio, you said you have information for me. Yes, but before we get down to that, tell me, Aiden, what do you need this database for? What does it contain? I'm looking for my sister. What happened to her? A long time ago, Waltz hurt her. He took her from me. And I want him to tell me where she is. If she's still alive somewhere, or... that's why I was looking for the GRE command center to access Waltz's database on its servers. So we have a common enemy. Meaning? Waltz, that's the Butcher's right-hand man. He pumps his men full of inhibitors. We can get them both. I brought you here because I know that a few GRE scientists are hiding out in the city. We picked up the trail of one of them. 
right before the renegade attack. Sounds promising. When I find a scientist, we'll see what they know. If they are of no use, we'll find another. And another. Until you get the answers you're looking for. Why are the former GRE in hiding? They're afraid of the wrath of the people. People angry because the GRE spread the infection. So it's true. The GRE brought in the virus. Who else? They say they performed experiments in their bases. They brought in containers from Haran. At night. In secret from the government. And then everything collapsed. In revenge, people captured the scientists and hanged them from lampposts. And killed the only people who had a chance of finding a cure. There is no cure and there never will be, Aiden. That's GRE propaganda. Fine. But what do you want in return? What do you think I want? Maybe the same thing both of us want? The city has electricity again. The renegades are on the attack. For the first time since the war ended, they attacked our outposts in the city center. But new possibilities have opened up for us as well. Thanks to the electricity, we can fire up the biggest antenna in the center, on the VNC Tower Spire. What, you want to defeat the Butcher using radio? In a way. The signal will let me reach a larger number of people. Communication between settlements will be improved. We'll enlist more recruits and defend the city. And then it will be easier to find the surviving GRE doctors you need. Okay. I'm in. Good. The Butcher attacked for a reason. I want to make sure this city is safe, no matter what. <coughs> You all right, sir? Maya will share our plan with you. Go see her as soon as you can. Oh, and Aiden. You don't have to call me sir. To friends, I'm Jack. Okay. Jack. Today, I thought our chances against the Renegades were pretty good. But now, I'm not so sure. Matt told me to see you. Yes, he wanted me to give you this. A little reward for helping us peacekeepers. A UV flashlight. Could come in handy. Thanks. He said something about a plan? The VNC tower. Now that the lights are on, we can use the TV antenna to broadcast our call for mobilization. But first, we need to get to the top. And that's a long road. What do you want to know? Tell me more about this radio station on the tower. It's the tallest building in Villador. It was once a symbol of the city's greatness. Now, a symbol of its fall. Why do you say that? That antenna could bring the city together once more. But anyone who goes up there trying to fire it up, guess what happens? Nothing good, I bet. Damn right. The city's potential shining beacon is a death trap. We're hoping it'll be different this time. We're gonna light it up with UV lamps. Okay, let's get going. Are the lights in place? They would be, if Juan from Supplies would just do his job for once. I take it that he didn't. He's been playing hide-and-seek the last few days, and he's late. Getting on my nerves. So look in on Juan first, see what his deal is. And when you do find him, kick him in the ass. Tell him it's from me. That flashlight serves you well. Gonna pick the Winter Gates too. Not work on the Looking for Juan Rayner. You don't appear to be on a schedule. It's urgent. The commander sent me. So Monsieur Jacques sends you? Jacques? Jacques Matt. Monsieur Reyna is not here. I can take a message. No, I need to talk to him in person. Where is he? Unfortunately, I can't help. Monsieur Reyna's whereabouts are no one's business. Wait if he must. 
anything else. Matt's not going to be happy. Juan is not particularly concerned with the little major's feelings. Do come again. In the one? Hayden. Getting settled in the city? Working on it. Meyer and Jack sent me to supply. Interesting bunch. Not like any of the other PKs I've met. That might be because they're not PKs, Eagle Eye. Business is their true faith. I see. Uh, anyway, I can't track down their boss. Juan? He likes to make himself scarce. Probably lurking around the fisheye. The canteen? The slick bastard's even got his own table there. Bribes the cook to bring him off-menu goods. He lives like the fall never took place. I look for him there. Good luck finding him. And good luck if you do find him. Juan Rayner? You lost, man? We didn't call for a waiter. I've got orders to find you, from Meyer and the Commander. And my name's... I know who you are, Aiden. After that bang-up with the Renegades, half the canteen wants to name their most precious offspring after you. Including Vinny here. But you interrupted our meal. State your purpose in one sentence, then please... Make yourself scarce. Oh, you know perfectly well why I'm here. The UV lamps. Meyer says you owe the peacekeepers a delivery. And you think your barking will make an impression on me? The Lummox and Chief Jack thinks he can send his terrier, and everyone will wet themselves in terror. But what can I expect? He can't tell the difference between champagne and a crystal chalice, or water from a dog's bowl. He has an ounce of refinement. Isn't that right, Vinny? Uh, I don't know. Don't be afraid. It's not like Jack is gonna march in and have you hanged. At least not now. Uh... Ah, oh, Vinny. When will you grow a spine? You want my attention, Aiden? Show me you deserve it. What can you offer me? All right, listen, I'm just trying to help. I, I need those lamps. <laughs> so the groveling and begging begins. My favorite part. You really need them? Or Jack? What'd he promise you? Look, you were supposed to deliver, and I was asked to make sure you do. And how do you expect to do that? Maybe bat your pretty eyelashes at me? I'm not saying you're not my type, because you are. But... I need a reason to break Vinny's heart for someone else. So, you have to try harder. Huh. Okay. Look, I could help you out as easily as I'm trying to help Matt. I don't doubt that. I've heard you were a pilgrim. But you're new here. Smashing the skulls of a few peasants doesn't mean everyone wants to lift you up on their backs. You have to be more subtle with people. Everyone has their own desire, their, their own price. Your pitch just isn't working for me quite yet. Try again. Mm-hmm. <sighs> You've used up all your time. Didn't pique my interest. But what is it you want, Juan? <sighs> like they used to say, if you gotta ask the price, you can't afford it. Returning to more pressing matters. And? What should we try next? Did you make headway with the pompous ass? Never met a guy quite like him before. I told you. Come see me Did back at my place. We'll talk. Need to attack a canteen. Nowhere is safe anymore.
Let me guess. He scarfed down five horses and had a hot young woman at his side. A young man, but the rest is accurate. He's a piece of work, all right. But I need him to get back to work. Jack needs UV lamps and Juan's dragging his feet. Hmm, that'll be tough. Juan barely listens to Jack, so he'll be an even tougher audience for you. He has his own men and power base, and he loves rubbing Jack's nose in that. And what can I do about that? Same as everyone else. Bribe him. He likes fine art, antiques, expensive shit from before the fall. When he sees something that used to be valuable, he can't stop himself. Zero self-control. Hmm. All right, where can I find something like that? I heard of an old Polish guy who lived in a penthouse by Liberation Passage. They say he was an art collector. You can try his place. You can only get there via paraglider. That's why there's a chance something is left. I'll be on the radio and guide you to him. What about you, huh? Going on a hunt? <laughs> no, a party. It's Danier's birthday, but you never know when a guest list will overlap with a hit list. Why don't you come and have a drink with us when you're done with one? I don't think Danier likes me. <laughs> he doesn't like anybody. We'll be in touch. Luan, there's nothing left in here. Daniel said it's a virgin spot. Keep looking.
He took his paintings, but no room for Jessica. <laughs> One romantic son of a... found a stash. A helicopter was coming for this guy. They sent everything to the roof. I'm headed there to look. Good luck. left. Everything's been destroyed. Hey, Luan? Found our collector, but no sign of his collection. Luan? Hey, you there? Jesus, Aiden. I told you I was leaving. Okay, quick thing. Nothing here except for a bottle of whiskey and one of vodka. At least the whiskey's the good stuff. Juan likes a good whiskey. Maybe if you get him shit-faced, he'll loosen up, so to speak. So you still in the canteen? I saw him leaving. Seemed to be heading back to the ship. Probably to his quarters. Right, okay. I'll go there. And listen, that vodka, Danier is a big fan. If you're planning to drop by, which you probably aren't. But if you really want to get to know this city, this is the way. Just saying. snack, isn't he, dear? Care to join? More the merrier. No, thank you. Ah, oh, have I embarrassed you? I'm sorry, I do have that effect on people. I'll wait for you, but make it quick. I must admit, I admire your persistence. Almost curious what you do after I send you packing, yet again. You'll regret it. Sixteen-year-old Highland single malt. Modeled the year before the pandemic broke out. I've read that one barrel of this stuff sold at auction for over half a million dollars. <sighs> what a sublime present. What can I say? You broke down my defenses. So, you're still after those lamps. Did Matt tell you why he wanted them? Why he really wanted them? Yeah, to take control of the TV tower. Wait, he's serious? Is he crazy? 
Nobody tried that for over a decade. Matt wants to prepare to defend the city from the Butcher's coming attack. So, we should start building him a monument, right? Only problem? The Butcher isn't planning any attack. How do you know? I have my spies. Among the renegades as well. Since the end of the war, we have occupied the city center. While the Colonel squats in the dam. One push of a lever, and half the city will find itself under toxic water. The Colonel is not stupid. He knows war would be the end of everything. What about the UV lamps? Why does he want them, then? Jack is hiding something. For a while now, he's been ordering way more lamps than he could possibly need. And then some of those lamps always disappear. No accounting for them once we deliver. Why would Jack skim UV lamps? And here, friend, the mystery takes flight. Jack never got over the fact that he didn't defeat the Butcher back when he had the chance, years ago. He knew that if he attacked the dam, the Colonel would close the floodgates. And the rising water levels would push the chemicals up out of the ground, burning through everything that lives in this city. And it's been a stalemate for over 10 years, each waiting for the other to make a move. But then, someone turned the power on and something changed and the renegades attack the canteen. I'm not here for my health, Juan. I need the lamps to- To find out what happened to your sister. Right, Aiden? I told you I got my spies. Might be able to find something out about Waltz and your sister, specifically about the GRE scientist you and Matt are trying to contact. I'd even say with my resources, I can find this person faster than Matt. I actually doubt he's able to find them at all. How do I know you're not using me to make a move of your own? I'm not your enemy, Aiden. It's a shame you don't see that. You'll get your lamps. You just gotta talk to Demolin. Who's he? He's my man. Sent him out to search for more lamps, but he hasn't checked in for a while. Where can I find him? Around here, last I heard from him. Find him, then come back to me here afterward. You got it. But I'll need you to go now. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
Good job, man. You showed him. You're a goddamn superhero. That beast had us trapped here. Wouldn't go away. It attacked us right as we got here. Mark got hurt pretty bad. We barely escaped and huddled up here. Finally went quiet not long ago. We thought that thing had wandered off. Next thing we hear is you banging on our barricade and, and then it all started again. I'm looking for Demolin. You guys seen him? Up top. Uh, come on, let's get you to a doctor. Devlin's upstairs. <laughs> You're Demolin, right? I'm Aiden. Not bad. Not bad. Aiden. Nice to meet you. Your skills are exceptional. And you don't look like a peacekeeper to me. So who are you? Juan told me to check up on you and the lamps. Ah, the lamps. Piece of cake, he says. Huh. No such luck. We found a few, but it wasn't what you would call a bountiful harvest. And it came at great cost. The corporal killed by the beast outside has a brother in the unit. He will be devastated. He is at present with a squad down south on the lower dam promenade. They have not reported in. That doesn't sound good. We need to find him. The boy's mother lost her husband in a dark zone just last week. Now, a son. If her other son were to perish, it would be too much for any mother to bear. I'll try to find him. Okay. The boy's name is Sebastian. The islands are a dangerous area. Worse since the renegades overran them. You must find him quickly. Great. Supply are quite a helpless bunch, it seems. What did you expect? There were ordinary people before the fall. Classmen, teachers, gardeners, not fighters. <sighs> Shit. What's going on? Renegades. More of them. Tobias, the best Again? Answer me, boy. That's crazy. It has to be part of something the butcher and Walter are doing. Found your men. Um, some of them, at least. I'm sorry to say, they're dead. Aiden? You sure? How many? Two bodies. Both quite dead. The squad had five men. There are three others. There's still hope. Okay, I'll look for them.
are totally deserved. It's crazy, I know. Something must have happened to them. They used to be regular soldiers, at least most of them. But now they're more like living virals. They're mad. They kill everyone in their path. Like mad? What do you mean? They say Williams treats them like animals. <laughs> well, the butcher is crazy, like they say. Crazy and unpredictable. <laughs> Demolin sent me. Hey, you guys all right? Me? Yeah. Sebastian, not so much. I'm sure I'll be fine. But I was sent here for the lamps. Where are they? After we drove off the Renegades, we reached the building. To get in, we strung some ropes across from the next roof. And that's when the Renegades attacked again. And... The lamps? They're still on the landing pad on the roof. The military hit them well, made sure no one could see them from above. Seba only saw them from the next building, through binoculars. But we didn't get a chance to finish securing the ropes. Is there any other way to get there? You could go through the building, but like I said, wall-to-wall -wall biters. I gotcha. I'll try the rope. You'd have to be a spider to climb in. And it's swarming with renegades outside. I like taking chances. Take this, contact Emelyn, and tell him what happened here. I'll go get those lamps.
Ah! <laughs> 
Demolin, got your lamps. A dozen crates, maybe more. All untouched. Merci, Eden. You did your job well. Unfortunately, Sebastian didn't make it. I'm sorry to hear that. Poor boy. I so wanted to show him my father's shop. There's too much for me to carry on my own, and no way I'd make it through the infected while loaded down. The boys can get to the roof and manage the lamps themselves. Hey, Juan, we secured the lamps, but the squad hit a snag when the renegades... Shh. Not over the radio. Come to my quarters on the ship. accomplished. Shh. Do you know what that is, Aiden? Uh, it looks like uh, mouse turds, buckshot. Dios, que triste. These are eggs, Aiden. You have some really small chickens. Fish eggs. Belugas, to be exact. Straight from the Caspian Sea. Dissolving on your tongue, you taste the waves of a black, deep sea in a faraway land. The world is full of beautiful things, beautiful sensations. Pretty boys and pretty girls. But humorless grunts don't notice that. What do you mean? You can't be obsessed with political machinations and enjoy the beauty of life at the same time. Who do you mean? The Jack Mats and Aidens of the world. Such a shame you picked the wrong team. Only team I'm on is my own. Sounds lonely. I'm not a fan of loneliness, you see. Did Matt reveal to you what he'll do with those lamps in a place without power? And how he plans to carry out this suicidal mission? As I thought, take this and call him. Tell him the lamps will be delivered to the TV station. Matt, the lamps are ready. Got it, Ada. Good work. I hope Juan didn't give you any trouble. Juan said that the TV station has no power. What good are these lamps to us if we can't turn them on? <sighs> Juan's just fucking around. Don't worry about that. Aiden, it's time we meet and talk about how to take that damn antenna. Wait for my signal. Roger. <sighs> that. Well, I hope you like taking orders, Aiden. Because Jack loves giving them. Stay close to your radio. You'll be informed of the meeting shortly. Take care of these two for me, will you? 